Okay, so uh, this is basically the Unreal Engine 3. Uh, well, it's kind of like effects. So I'm kind of showing you guys what the tree kind of particle effects are. Uh, so let's actually go into the tree. That's a very nice effect. Let's uh, let's just quickly get into the play in the editor, shall we? Couldn't swarm player. Okay, never mind then. So next thing, I'll uh, I'll show you guys what the other things that they've got in the Unreal Engine. Okay, so basically my voice wasn't actually able to be heard at all when I did the recording of this particular bit. Um, but this was the uh, foliage part in daytime, running around with the actual Unreal Kit. Uh, you know, the Unreal Kit <coughs> as one of the Unreal guys, one of the models that you can just run around. And I was just having a look at the grass thinking, oh wow, it really it it's beautiful! <laughs> and mm, after that I got sidetracked and then I got underneath the map somehow and it glitched out. And yeah, so I'm now underneath the map. <laughs> so this is this bit. I shall see you all in a minute, okay? <laughs> so yeah, this is what it all looks like really. Ooh. Quite nice. However, I do think uh, CryEngine has beat them for now. Uh, so let's see if I can show you some other things that they've got. I'll be back in a minute or so. And away we go. So this is the uh, oh, what is it? The night and day map. Uh, Direct X11, high spec, and blah blah blah. Uh, it does look beautiful in all honesty, but. Um, They've still got to work on a few things. Uh, I think CryEngine have got the um, <coughs> got the got it down to a T, but Unreal 4 obviously is the newer one. And damn, that was pretty damn impressive. <coughs> However, this on the other hand, uh, not as impressive. It does look gorgeous. I can't wait for games to definitely be using this kind of technology, uh, but I can't see that for a very long time yet. I mean, you can just sit and just tell. Uh, that the the graphics are absolutely amazing. I don't know what resolution it's running in though. That's uh, one of the problems. But obviously, I'm running at about you know 20 to 30 frames a second, 40 frames. It does look really nice though, you can't deny that. And obviously I'm watching this on my screen, um, well, you know what it's like when you watch a video on YouTube, it doesn't, it doesn't do the video justice. So now I'm real time at about 60 frames a second, ooh, 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 that kept me down to 25. Still that's because of all the weather weather effects that are going on. Twenty two FPS at the moment. It's a very, very nice demo. And I think that pretty much brings it to a conclusion. I'll carry it on a little bit further. The best for last, isn't it? Yeah, if it goes onto the flower next, then we know it's finished. Yep, flower time. Anyway, I shall see you all soon. Bye! Hope you enjoyed the Unreal Engine 3. So, here's what I found in the mobile department. Uh, it's literally, it's just this. It's just a... Uh, a courtyard really, and that's it. That's what they called it anywhere, courtyard. So this is for mobile. So still pretty damn good graphics. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing. And now I've just found some utterly retarded thing. Uh for mobile as well. Let's quickly jump in the Okay, so here's uh, another one. This is called Epic Citadel. And this is also for mobile. Just look alright. 
especially for mobile devices, this this would be good. And I'm running at quite high frames per second as well this time. Okay, so that's enough walking around for this bit. Can't really show you anymore. It'd be nice if it had a decent VOV on it, because it seems really, really close. Anyway, next game, shall we? Okay, so here's another map. This is from Unreal. Looks quite nice, if only it was in full screen, though. No, full HD, the lot. Unreal 4 would look really good. This time. I played on this before. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, I actually played on it. You can uh, download this and play against people online as, uh, as a showcase kind of thing. This is like the Instagun. One shot and then, yeah. Pew pew. So that's uh, this map. Let's show you another one. Okay, so the final one that I've found is called Necropolis. Uh, this is what it looks like. I would go into the viewport, but uh, it's not letting me. So overall, the graphics on this are really, really nice. Well, a lot nicer than they were on the other maps anyway. They have took a hell of a lot of time. And what the hell? That is actually moving. The fuck? That's weird. Anyway, that's... Tessellation is real nice. Textures, graphics, anyway. And that's it for this map.